Hello everyone, my name's Frank Intini and I'm excited to have you join us on an exhilarating journey as we prepare our billet blown small block Chevy engine and Bob Meyer built dragster for the highly anticipated opening event at Dragway at the Bend, our new local world class racetrack. In our video series we'll explore the technical aspects and provide an exclusive peek into the inner workings of our blown small block engine revealing what makes it perform remarkably. With decades of experience racing small block Chevy engines, we've established a strong reputation for reliability and performance. Throughout this captivating series, we'll unveil the developments that enable these engines to endure the immense stresses and high loads and engine speeds exceeding 10,500 RPM. I invite you to subscribe to the channel and please turn on notifications to stay updated on our progress. We'll eagerly share our knowledge and expertise with you as we embark on this thrilling adventure. Together we'll uncover the secrets behind the exceptional performance of our blown small block Chevy engine, aiming to achieve world record times and speeds. Let's begin with a few of the uh, major components in the short motor. Okay, let's get the ball rolling with the crankshaft. Uh, this one's made by Crow. It's a nice forging um, from those guys. It features a 400 size main and a two inch rod journal. Um, this time round, we're going 3.7 inch stroke uh, and we've opted for the big block snout this time, something we've never run before, and a gear drive. So each time we change something, we're looking to uh, gain reliability and power, so fingers crossed. Another design change that we've implemented is making the con rod so much wider on the little end to support the pin. If we look at this steel rod, you can see uh, what I'm talking about there. Um, all to make this old girl try and live. This is our dart billet block here. Um, in the past, we've run cast aluminium. Uh, both the both the blocks we ran, uh, we split between the bores um, with the massive cylinder pressure these engines see. So this billet block should be stronger in that area and should support the bores better, which should lead to a better ring seal and that should lead to making more power. Um, the other advantage of this block is it's a wide pan rail and a raised camshaft. Uh, in the old cast aluminium blocks, we had... 15, 12 or 15 thou uh, camshaft lobe to conrod uh, clearance, uh, which is a scary uh, thought when you're sitting in the car. But anyway, um, the other advantage of this uh, block is it's a big block chev cam core. So therefore, uh, the lobes are actually larger in, in size, which is softer on your valve train, and it's a stiffer camshaft. So it's, all the timing events should be a bit more accurate and again it's going to make more power so we look forward to seeing how much this thing will take um, hopefully more than our old one and uh, only time will tell so I look forward to that I'd like to extend my thank you to you all for watching this video which is the first of our series and in the next uh, episode we'll, uh, we'll start assembling the short motor and uh, we'll get more in depth with some technical information Thank you.